It is a major relief for thousands of us who either live, work, go to school, or just drive through the area north of downtown. But has it now become dangerous? Good evening. I'm Randy Beam. And I'm Evie Ramos. The city of San Antonio will celebrate the completion of the multi-million dollar Broadway and Hildebrand project tomorrow. It took well over a year to fix long-term drainage problems and expand that intersection. But as News 4 San Antonio's Randy Escamilla explains, now there are some serious safety concerns. He joins us live with this exclusive report. Randy? Evie, drivers are confused and don't know what lanes to take when they get to this intersection. We witnessed near misses after every single traffic light change. Frustration, confusion, anger. Three emotions definitely triggered by the estimated 60,000 drivers passing through the Broadway Hildebrand intersection every day. A lot of people don't really know where to turn, so they go onto the next lane or in your lane. And I've seen like almost three car accidents happen. They haven't happened, but they've like, people have been harking and stopping. Cars crossing into adjacent lanes happens with almost every signal light change. Watch as this car rounds the corner and is supposed to be in the inside lane, but goes directly into the wrong lane forcing the car next to it into a lane used for oncoming traffic. I hear a lot of, you know, honking going around because they're accidentally going into one other lane. If they're on the right, they're going into the left and all that. Adding to the confusion, some signal lights have traffic signs. Others don't. There are no bike lanes making driving difficult for cyclists and drivers. This cyclist was in the wrong lane, got off her bike and positioned herself in the correct lane. Now watch as this driver just drove her car over the crosswalk, forcing the pedestrian to maneuver between cars to get to the other side. And if that's not enough, protruding curbs are now black from being hit repeatedly by cars and trucks. I haven't seen uh, all the confusion uh, that you're talking about. We met with San Antonio's Director of Transportation, Mike Frisbee, this afternoon. Each of our projects, there is an adjustment period for drivers to get used to it again. Because a lot of people left the intersection during construction to avoid it. Now that it's working well, people are back and maneuvering through it. Since we brought these issues to the city, we're told that the city will now enhance the striping and put down reflectors to help drivers get through this intersection. We will keep you posted. Reporting live just north of downtown, I'm Randy Escamilla, News 4 San Antonio.